Shabbat Shalom. Every time I to 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 to, oh we don't fire. People of the United Nations Trust Territory of the British Southern Cameroon. Good morning. Good citizens of Ambazonia, today, na Saturday, number 22 day for number two month for the year 2020. My name na Kapo Daniel. This one na my daily podcast for na. It don't be for some time where we na noba here for we or for see we for Facebook page. Things before the massacre will take place for Gabu, where La Republic du Cameroon, their terrorist forces, together with their militia, then launch attack for Gabu village, killing over 14 of our Peking them, including two pregnant women, seven boys between the age of 19 to 25, and 21 other people them. The dead body that they see be found for inside bushes, and some people then still be unaccounted for. This period for low traffic for Ambazonian communication, it come as Facebook, it delete plenty account for Ambazonian activism. Them. Before the beginning of the peak of this revolution for 2016, La Republic du Cameroon, their government be sent a delegation, will be pay a reported sum of over 5 million US dollars for Facebook. The former Ghanaian president, J.J. Rollins, he then join the voice for call Facebook, make it allow the Ambazonian activism, make them begin to publicize those atrocities with Cameroon government in the committee against the people of the southern Cameroon. The Cameroon army be enter for inside Gabu together with four militia them. That means say, some Bororo youth them where they don't recruit them, make them join their army. They enter for inside Gabu, they launch the attack in which we be classified as a war crime. The Cameroon military then gather over 14 Pekin them where them be below 14 years old, including a six-month-old Pekin with two pregnant women them, then separate the people them into two groups, execute them, shoot them, point blank, killing them just like that, setting their body them on fire. Make una hear one of the bar them where they be gay compound. Where that attack be happened there for Gabo? I definitely forbid and sleep a uh, small time. <coughs> My people, they say, so you don't enter, so you don't enter, the fear gone. I say, what is They say, so you don't enter. I say, maybe they come, we not come, we not come. They come. Slow, slow for, my, for my place. <coughs> I say, maybe we not no fear. I will see the soldier. Small time they come. <coughs> Take me. So the papa he testify, he confirms in a Camaro army. They become the enter for a house. Na Camaro army will kill those people and we will burn them. They will get them from get gun. Get them from get gun. When I go see so hard the burn, hard the burn. Then cry, I they cry. Lock my eye, I know if can them. Say I know get them. The interview for the power will be happen in front of the colonial DO and many Cameroon their military be power be talk it through. The power confirm say be being a Cameroon army, they be wear Cameroon uniform. The same army where they be moved them for a house, move picking them, separate them into two groups, carry one goat and for the other compound where they go kill them, burn them for the the papa he confirmed also say he come for they can't see where they don't kill those picking them, set them on fire. The papa a description also for the gun it is chosen at the Cameroon military because amongst those militia them they be the carrying at this den gun where the papa for easily identify them, including knives and cutlasses. One of the survivors will be being a pregnant woman is still there for hospital. He then confirmed the same information, including multiple people where they be sub- survive by running into the bushes. Subsequently, we will bring some of them, meet and talk directly for the Ambazonia people for assure them of this narrative when I exactly which way it happened throughout our territory. As usual, 
la Republic du Cameroun, their colonial divisional officer Wei Defondu, in a phone interview reported by Mimi Mifo, he be explained lie say la Republic du Cameroun, their forces they no be even day for inside Ngabu during that day for that attack. And he be claim say na Ambazonia their forces they be dressed like Cameroon military, attack that village for Ngabu. Now as survivor them for their attack, then start for begin talk. And the United Nations begin send people me then go verify which way it happened. Where the Cameroon Ministry of Defense he put out a press release for Monday 17. He did talk say the civilian they be die for inside Gabu as a result of the Cameroon military. He fight with Ambazonian forces them during the crossfire, then shoot patrol where they be hide them for inside one house. Now the fire he kill those people them. All these stories them. From the Cameroon government, it is shows in a government where you no get shame and you no get no credibility at all. From denying, say, troops they no be be involved. For come talk, say, it troops they be fight na Ambazunian them before fire come out the burn house. But the truth they come out for the weaknesses the way they be talk, say, they no be get no fighting for that area. Cameroon army, with the militia men them, they enter for that village where people they, they sleep, round them up for their house, execute them inside cold blood including picking them with pregnant women, slaughtering some of them, burning some of them alive. My systematic policy where Cameroon government now they do one for all around Ambazonia. They keep picking them. If you start right from boom for Boabua, where they be key 19, then go for Fang, kill almost 22. The same thing be that happen where they keep Mami up here, execute a four month old Pekin, Bebe Mata, all across Ambazonia. Now a policy for the Cameroon government for kill all Ambazonian them because they the one force them for abandon their demand, their legitimate demand for separation from Cameroon. This one na a war crime and now a crime against humanity. They leader them for the revolution. Dr. Cho Ayaba, he make a speech, say the AGOFC go send a delegation for Umpo for go report the matter for make sure say they go send international communique and make sure say the international community you go treat them as a genocide a crime against humanity we go put pobia for jail and it go solve look the root causes for the injustice for southern cameroon for solve this problem and bring justice we go bring back peace for our people in a lasting solution for independence Una here that the international community invoke various protection principles to protect the Amazonian people as an endangered people. We will be reaching out to different institutions of the international system to make sure we call their attention to the plight of our people and the policies of Cameroon that continuously make sure we are eliminated from the face of the earth. The IP Seseko Ayoktabi also respond in a Twitter we talk say Dr. Gregory Stanton we be talking a genocide they go on for Ambazonia be be correct and the war need for pass a resolution for the United Nations Security Council for end La Republic du Cameroon atrocity for inside Ambazonia. The America under Secretary of State Tibo Nagi in a tweet also call on the Cameroon government for authorized and independent investigation inside the killing for make sure say perpetrators and be delivered with justice a group of catholic bishops war over also call for justice for the victims um, and for toxic in a time for dialogue between both parties while for kumbu the catholic church organized a mass for the victim them for gabu in attendance was kadinatumi will be reported for talk last week say the situation it become better and the killing they reduce the United Kingdom also call for the addressing of the atrocities them for Inza Gabu and Toxi be willing for support any legitimate negotiation process between Ambazonia and La Republic du Cameroon. Breaking news it come out also it come from China. Say in a high level meeting between the Ambazonian Governing Council and AMIC, a mobilization community for Inza China. The Ambazonian Governing Council Vice President informed the community in China. See, the Ambazonian Governing Council representative began meet up the representative of the Foreign Affairs for Switzerland 
in a neutral country for discuss about the possible negotiation for the Swiss process where they go on be handled by the Swiss government. They want that the negotiation will be different from the HD, but that the direct engagement of the Swiss government will be happy say the Swiss government then be willing for accept some of those conditions for meet up in a neutral ground and for meet up with the minimum standard we go entail for negotiation between both sides. According to the community members where they be for inside the meeting, they be disclose say the conditions not fully be met, but the interim government as well as the governing council, the two major groups led by Dr. Cho Ayaba and Seseko Ayuktabi, we representative now Mr. Yerima, they then form a, a joint group where they see and negotiate about the collaboration for both groups. In another news, your humble se servant, Ndong Emmanuel, me, Kapo Daniel, Lukong, sends past king, he then be appointed by the defense chief of the Ambazonian Defense Forces, Dr. Benedict Kwa, as the new deputy chief of the Savannah Zone. Agosti continue for act as an ambassador for Seseko for the interim government to facilitate when I'm a main duty for bring the two major factions together while I go to execute my mission where it be supported largely also by the commander in chief of the Ambazonian Governing Council, Dr. Cho Ayaba. Ambazonian the need for embrace the revolution as one and the various groups them not only a tool for execute the revolution for establish the will of the people for independence. We need to embrace our diversity, not before take them like division, but diversity towards a common goal and work hand in hand. And I will want to make my viewers and my followers them distinguish between my activism and my rule the player for the various movement them for our struggle. We will continue to focus on the Gabu incident where then present a unique opportunity for we to demonstrate for the war the diabolic plans of the Republic of Cameroon for eliminate our people systematically. Now also an opportunity for proof with the way it be to go on. Say the Cameroon government, they use militia them for carry out their operation together with their forces in the ground. As the Cameroon government, they make a charade for Yaoundé. Say they listen for testimony for the victims of the war from Ambazonian side. Would they cry our people the way they have murdered them for inside Gabu? Where no man no go talk their story and they no go interview the victims. Would they cry, Mami up here, where they be born alive, with the four other part, the way they be born them alive for inside Boyo, with some soya, where they be cut ahead, and many other our people, where like the public, their army, they don't kill them, and our youths, them, where they execute them, day after day, for mere facts, they be now Ambazonian males. We must fight for justice, for secure, a lasting peace for our people, and a guarantee. Say no generation of Ambazonia no could go through it would go through by securing and establishing an independent Ambazonia in a free state where we can practice and live our way of life free from La Republic to Cameroon administration and the army. We must redouble our effort. We must hold grass like one man. We must chop fire. Now freedom, independence or death. We must fight until victory is secured. We must continue to observe the Independence Day goes down every Monday. We are the only way we our population to show the world. So we want separation. We want independence and complete freedom. May we support our freedom fighters as well. But I'm a queen, I'm a weapon, but if I want something, I am a God bless you, Capo Daniel, signing off.